recording. Now I'm recording. Today is July 30th. Now oh, it's almost uh, two thirds of the summer. Uh, 6 p.m. on the West Coast. And my name is Sergei Savastuk. I have a PhD in applied mathematics and I used to teach at uh, Santa Clara University at uh, engineering school. And I started a few companies. Uh, now I started Tikeron. It's uh, all about artificial intelligence. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to find trading industries with AI. Okay? Our company is really good uh, with artificial intelligence. And you're going to find uh, interesting features I'm going to be focusing today. Okay? Uh, normally, in this type of presentation, you can hear a lot of disclaimers. In our case, it's much easier because our company is registered with the SEC, with the Security Exchange uh, Commission. Okay, what it means, it means we're not allowed to tell you any BS. Okay, that's a jargon, but that's what it is. A lot of companies which are not registered with the SEC can sell you a bunch of crap, uh, honestly saying because they are not being uh, observed uh, by uh, either Federal Trade Commission or Security Exchange Commission. They can sell misleading statements. They can tell you anything. They can charge 50,000 for training course. They can do whatever they want, but if uh, they cross the line, they can be sued, okay? We cannot cross the line. And that's, that's, that's the difference, okay? So, the tip uh, number one for this presentation is how to determine if the company is SEC registered. You go to uh, the legal part of the website uh, or general part, general information, this example from Berman, you find this form ADV part two. If you find this form, then the company is registered. If not, they can tell you anything. Particularly, they're gonna show you a lot of testimonials. In most cases, they just made up. We are not allowed to tell you any testimonials, and that's a, one of the interesting criteria. okay? So you can find our ADV part two uh, form on our legal uh, section of our website, and that's our disclaimer, okay? So why algorithms, why AI? Because you're competing with big guys. And these big guys have a lot of algorithms, they have a lot of mathematicians on their staff, and they pretty much winning. How do they win? Here's an example how they win. You see, 170,000 Robinhood investors got stuck with the Hertz stock, which is going to spiral. They keep uh, uh, Hertz going down and the more people buy. What is going to happen? They're going to stuck there forever because company filed for bankruptcy and they might never see their money again. They have a, a, a how they call it, pump and dump uh, charts and uh, you can be surprised uh, how uh, stupid it was to get to Hertz. So what we do is to help uh, retail investors, individual investors, not to do this stuff, but to find something interesting which moves up and that's where the opportunities are, okay? So today, I'm going to do these uh, six uh, steps. I'm gonna show you basic uh, trading plan development. Uh, what I mean is like how to think about the trading. It's very basic, but it's gonna help you to understand my presentation. I'm also going to tell you what are the odds of a trading success are. And it's basically back testing, but the difference between the back testing with us and any other company is we do it for you in advance and uh, just with one click you get the results. You don't need to do the back testing. We do it overnight for millions of strategies, okay? and then you click and you have a back-tested result. Some of them are gonna be good, some of them not gonna be good. But if we give a signal there, it makes sense, that means it passed the test, the odds of trading success are good, okay? 
So it's an important thing. We have a proprietary stuff with AI. We, we have a true trend group analysis. That, that's an important thing. And I will show why it is important. Then I will show you how to find the uh, group trends in Screener, including group trends and just trends in the news feed. And I also preview one of our uh, new products we just released. It's going to be maybe one of the uh, uh, first group to hear about that. But that's going to be preview on my next uh, webcast in a week. Exactly in a week is going to be about AI robots. What, uh, what other uh, robots, what they do. Pretty much we get all the information, all the data from our site and tell AI robots, why don't you guys trade, okay? And they trade and you see how they trade. If you like how they trade, you can follow. And uh, you will see interesting results at the end, okay? So now let's talk briefly about these uh, three uh, slides first, okay? So Important to understand uh, what is your thinking before you trade, okay? So the one way is to just bet on a continuation of a trend. So trend goes up and you bet it's gonna continue to go up. People like to uh, trade on the dip. So goes up, uh, down a little bit, and then continues to go up, okay? Breakout. This is an interesting topic because uh, you wait till it crosses a particular line and uh, it is applicable to the, uh, our technology of trading with the patterns. We have uh, AI engine which identifies the patterns and then when it crosses a particular line, then you buy. And you can look at uh, one of my uh, webcasts or some other products videos, okay? Trend reversal, kind of keeps going down and then goes up, okay? That's what the beginners want to find, and that's where they lose most of the money, okay? So they're trying to find this particular point when it's gonna make you most of the money, and that's exactly where you lose, why? Because it's practically impossible and doesn't make sense, because if there is a newer share, then the stock actually gonna go continue down uh, because it's most likely going to be a trend, okay, uh, going down. And if you get a little bit of a dip up, trying to catch this particular point, then it might continue to go down. It's kind of on a deep, uh, on a bear market, okay. This is a breakout down. And then if you want this particular point to sell, you're again going to fail. So my advice and the tip of the day, number two, don't try to do this stuff, it is not working, okay? I'm telling you like a trader, been trading a lot, I was here a lot and I can confirm it never works, okay? Uh, it works when you're novice, uh, just for fun, all of a sudden works, but there are no consistent results at this particular point, okay? So what are the odds of success, okay? And what to do with them? Uh, the way it works like that, let's assume you have a way of trading, you selected your plan, okay? And let's assume you believe it's going to be uh, trading on a dip, right? Some kind of a pattern. Um, then you say, okay, you've got this stock, you bet that after the dip, it's gonna go up, right? Then what uh, you do from a classical approach, see, okay, is this stock or any other equity gonna go up? What do you do? You go back and do the back testing. You find the similar cases. You found one long time ago. And yes, it did go up. Okay, success. Uh, goes up, down, and continues to go down. It's a failure. Uh, again, up, up. So that means you have three out of four success, and it means 75% odds of success, okay? so. The summary, odds of success are the percentage of outcomes, you see this is the outcomes, which confirm successful trade signals in the past. Okay? These are the results of a backtest. What we do at Tikiron, we test millions of strategies and you don't need to do that. So when you see our website and then you see the odds of success, that means they are pre-calculated. And then you can use that data you can retest that, but that's a computer 
uh, and we cannot say any BS, uh, honestly, and that's the real result, okay? So, what kind of uh, signals do we give? We do not give long-term uh, advice, so like for a year. We don't know what's gonna happen for a year. But if you maneuver through the uh, volatility, then you have to look for about the week or month. That's how far we're looking in our uh, side. And just giving you the signal, if you win within a week or month, you just move the money to another equity and you, you're gonna be good, right? So that means like you see this uh, winter sport, half pipe, the person, it's the same person, okay? It goes up, flies, goes up, flies. And like here, right? Don't, don't, don't buy here, right? Uh, it, it's kind of buy right here, get out and move on, okay? That's the way we are working. We trade, uh, trade uh, trading with trends, okay? And that's uh, our style and that's what we are, helping you to find, okay? Now, why groups are important? Because groups of stocks, they behave like herds, okay? Uh, let's assume the herd moves to the right, right? Uh, from stock perspective, up or down, right? So it is a very high probability if you find the stock right here in the middle of the herd, then it's gonna go with the herd. Right? So what you want to do is increase your probabilities of going to the same direction or particular direction you choose, right? So when I talk about the selecting uh, industries or other groups, then we're betting on the fact that if groups moves to the direction, then it's going to take with you this particular ship and you're going to be good, right? So we have... Uh, uh, interesting uh, here uh, perspectives. And then uh, let me then show you how it works, okay? So how to find what I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is the first page and uh, uh, you will see that uh, here it organized as a, uh, pretty much uh, your Facebook feed. We feed here uh, free signals, but one signal is always never enough. And as you can see, we give you odds of uh, success right here. They are pre-calculated. Somewhere we can pre-calculate, somewhere it looks like we cannot. You see, these are all downtrend odds of success, right? Okay. And uh, you see MACD, let's assume you don't know anything about Mark D indicator, you click here, okay? And then uh, read about Mark D, okay? You see, you read about Mark D. So when you buy, uh, this is exactly the point where you buy, uh, here's you sell, right? And here's the point you buy, okay? That's where you buy. And uh, when you read any news, they're self-explanatory, they're educational, and the good thing about that is if you really believe it's going to go up, you can make a paper trade. And then you can um, see if your guess or oh, our technology is good. It's going to be recorded right in the paper trade. And then you can track the performance of every action you've made. And then you don't need to spend money to lose money to learn anything. Okay. So that's the first introduction of our uh, first page. There's a lot of other very interesting information. As you can see, we like to analyze groups. You see consumer discretion uh, went up today, who went down, energy went down, financial went down, and some other energy uh, went down. Okay, so the, you see it's one glance, and I know approximately what was going on with the groups, okay? So on the international, Latin America went up, and uh, uh, Europe and Australia went down, okay? Now, Let's uh, go back to our topic, okay, about the group trends. Now, this is the groups, by the way, okay? Now, I'm gonna go to Screener, and uh, I'm gonna go Screener Home, okay? Uh, now, here's the stocks are pre-selected. These are the industries, but I will show you the uh, better uh, deal, okay? 
I'm going to go to the group trends, okay? Uh, I'm going to press here. If you see this, it means some feature is selected. I'm going to reset to make sure it is zero, okay? So now we'll start fresh. Uh, so as you can see, these are all groups, okay? I'm going to select industries and themes. The difference between industries and themes uh, uh, is that industry it is a kind of well-known group. Uh, it is uh, accepted in a uh, financial uh, field, but themes are those which were created. Typically, they are smaller than industries because they're split in all kinds of uh, interesting topics. For instance, furniture. There's no such industry as furniture or some installations or residential uh, waste, wood. You see, it, it's all, all kinds of uh, themes we have which uh, is interesting to analyze, okay? So that means I'm gonna be looking at both, at the industry and theme. If I wanna look at the indus indices, then I can uh, attach it here, but I'm not gonna do it, okay? So now, let's look. I have 593 industries and themes, okay? So obviously I have more themes than industries. You see 474, but it, it's a good to include the industries here, okay? So now, what you see here in this table looks complicated, but it is not. It is what? It is one, ch one day change, one week change, one month, uh, one quarter, six months, and one year, okay? So you really want to see the trend, okay? Um, let's look at the, some examples. So for instance, you see some theme tools. They're producing some tools. And if you look at this line, they're going to see that this a group of stocks, five stocks, never lost a single period. Isn't it amazing? And then how are you gonna find that these five uh, stocks on a glance that, first of all, they are strong by as a group, right? We, that's, that's what we give as a recommendation on a group, right? Then here, what you see here, you have percentage of strong buys, you see 40% strong buy and 60% buys. Zero hold, zero sell, and zero strong sells, okay? So as you can see, if you would have been staying with this particular group, any period of time from year six months, you would have been making money, okay? So this is a really uh, on a glance, right? So there are different ways to use these drop downs to identify something interesting, okay? So let's look uh, and see uh, the following. We're gonna try to find a dip. What it means, we're gonna find something which is in a dip, at the same time there was a strong uh, trend up, okay? So let's see, year, we're gonna make it uh, positive, okay? So I have 328. I'm gonna make six months uh, positive. That's 260 groups. You see, they're green, okay? And then, uh, as you can see that uh, I'm getting a really interesting groups. Now I can identify a one day dip, okay? With these groups. Um, or I can identify, uh, so how many? I have 260. Uh, I can reduce it, then I'm gonna make three, month uh, up okay so i have 259 okay cool so what i can do i can sort that here you see um it's imaging uh as you can see that uh, uh it's kind of amazing uh progress but you could have heard that in imaging there was a uh, uh, quite a uh, outstanding jump for kodak right I bet the quarter in this theme, and that's the reason for these uh, results, okay? But by the way, we will give in strong buy for the entire 10 stocks here, okay? Uh, digital, most likely quarter is here too. Okay, let's look at the something here. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so you see what I did, I found some uh, groups of stocks which are um, 
So these are the cells. What I can do, uh, let me do uh, like that, okay? I'm gonna sort by strong, uh, by, okay? And now these are the, I can scroll down and see what are the groups giving me any dips, right? Okay, so for instance, that was a week of a food retail, right? So let's look at these stocks and, and what we have. Uh, we have some installation stocks, okay? Have you heard about this? I don't think so, but we extracted some of the stocks which are having pretty good uh, trends and at the same time, they are strong by, okay? So uh, it, these are the dips you can find, okay? Then um, how to read about them, how to find out the details of every uh, single group. Let's say I wanna trade on a, a home, you see home, interesting, okay? Uh, so let's uh, do the following, it's a strong buy group and uh, now I'm gonna click here, okay? As soon as you select something on any module of our website, then you might see pretty much everywhere this blue field, okay? What it means, it means now this particular stocks in this theme of home, okay, uh, can be moved to anywhere else. Either to our, let's say, premium products like trend predictions, uh, parent search engine, real-time patterns. You can find all patterns real-time right now for this particular group, okay, by simply clicking right here. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm going to show you what you can read about this, okay? So I'm gonna click here, find the scorecards, okay? I'm gonna click it here. So you see, this is a scorecard and group analysis of exactly those stocks I selected, okay? So you see group scorecard is by. Uh, then uh, what we're gonna read here? For this particular groups of stocks, uh, this is advancing versus declining volumes. So you have uh, more buyers than sellers. You see the graph. So these are the buyers, uh, sell, not really sellers selling, and these are buyers buying. Okay, you see, it looks like it's kind of moving up. It's a one report, okay? Then theme highlights. What it means, it means you can click here and read more about the, uh, what is that topic, okay? Home includes company, engaged construction of homes, condominiums. Uh, market capitalization, some interesting uh, highlights about uh, this company, what's going on with their volume, uh, their fundamental analysis, okay? And now you can look at the individual stocks. You see scorecards for this uh, individual stocks. Uh, here is interesting thing. So uh, in order to find out some of the details, you click here, less boy, okay? You see, who knew that Les Boy is kind of moving up? Uh, uh, then this one, uh, as you can see, Ethan Allen, interior. Okay, it looks like what's going on? Okay, now when you know this, then you can create your mental model. Why these companies are moving up? Any guesses? So my guess would be like that. People are sitting with the virus at home. What do they do? They do home improvements. That's what they do. They buy furniture, they buy something for their backyard. And that's the reason this uh, company is kind of in a good shape. Why? Because the theory holds true. Uh, we come up, uh, some people come up with a theory first and buy. We actually do it opposite. We see what's going on and then confirm that uh, with a mental model, uh, which is people sitting at home and, and, and doing nothing, right? Okay, so here, uh, what you can do, let's say this one is also a well-known company, KB Homes. Uh, you can uh, click here and read the entire analysis of uh, uh, technical indicators, okay? What are the, uh, 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 here is what? Uh, bullish trend, bearish trend analysis, fundamental analysis, okay? Uh, and then we summarize that with AI. And let's assume you don't know a hell of a lot about movie, 
uh, momentum indicator. You click here and you can read about uh, momentum indicator, okay? So what we have is an interesting group, uh, which is uh, a possibility to follow and maybe trade tomorrow, right? But markets uh, these days volatile, and then you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So what you do, you take this group of home 40 and stocks, okay? And then you can move them where? To the watch list, okay? So what you can do is to click here and then add new. You see, I keep creating this watch list and this is a 0, 07, uh, 30th, uh, 20, uh, bullish, uh, enter, okay? So now I have my uh, group is uh, here. I am prepared somewhat for tomorrow. If I want to continue to do the trend trading, what it means, it means I'm uh, doing this one. So I'm betting on the fact that these stocks are gonna continue to go up. If I wanna find something on the dip, I will use another mental model uh, to do that, okay? And then I can read about them and then can, can analyze them, okay? That's the uh, one way to do that, okay? So let's look at another way. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to do that in opposite, okay? I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna find something to buy on the bottom, okay? So that means I'm gonna find depressing stocks and actually, you know what guys, uh, so let me see, okay, that, yeah, this one. So. Uh, what is good about uh, our software, you can do the following. You click here, copy URL, okay, copy. So then I can send it to you, you can copy and make a bookmark uh, out of that, okay? How to do that, I'll, I'll show you. So what you can do is to do the following. Click here, then uh, bookmarks, okay? Uh, bookmark manager, okay? Now you're in the bookmark manager. Then you go here, add new bookmark. You have to do these steps. So then you can say like that, Z, uh, no, it is what, home, okay? Uh, stops, okay? So then you click here, URL, paste, save, okay? So that way it might appear if you don't have too many bookmarks, I have too many, you see I have banks, some tests, and this is a home stock, uh, as you can see, okay? So it might show up right here, and then every time you click, you're gonna get that, uh, you're gonna get this screen, okay? Th this particular screen, uh, which was, or, oh, um, I'm sorry, you know what? I did the wrong link. So I give you that screen, which I intended to send you, okay? But what I'm gonna do is to take this one and then what I meant uh, was, is actually a different thing. I wanted to give you this particular one and that's what I'm gonna send you, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these stocks, 14 stocks to the screener. So I am in the screener, but I'm in a group trend. So I'm gonna send it, as you can see, screener, okay? I'm sending from screener to screen, right? Uh, but now, uh, what I'm gonna do is as follows. It's kind of rearranging itself, okay? And then, boom, all these 14 stocks, you remember Lisboa, Ethan Allen, all of them are here, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is to take that copy URL, copy, so in fact, I did the wrong thing. I can uh, edit that one, let me edit. So I'm gonna replace that one because that was a table. Paste, save, okay? And now, just for the fun of that, in chat, I can click it here, paste, okay? Um, yeah, the, okay, uh, and then I am gonna click it right here, and then you can verify if it uh, works for you, okay? Um, and let me know, okay? So, 
Yeah, there was a question. Uh, yep, it works. Good. Okay. So you see, you can create uh, this type of uh, uh, things for yourself. Okay. Or you can go to our uh, channel at uh, YouTube and find some of the interesting stuff. So for instance, when you look at the green, that's where we're creating for you already preset links, like play with the biotech. Uh, best performing stock market industry, like, uh, so there are some others, uh, China stocks. So there are some links you can get right there, okay? So now, uh, so then I moved it here, okay? So I can look at every stock right here, and let me briefly show you how to analyze these tables, okay? Just to give you a brief rundown on this particular group, okay? So first of all, Fundamental analysis. No, 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 let's start from fundamentals, from here, okay? Uh, so here, that's what typical screener gives you. Uh, you have to know what is a P ratio, you have to know what is a beta, PB ratio, the EPS, ROE, and so on, okay? Peg ratio. It, uh, you might know, might not know, okay? But what we did, we put that in the plain English, okay? The question is valuation. So are there, Undervalued stock, yes. Okay, in plain English, these are if all, undervalued stock. Okay, then uh, uh, profit versus risk. Uh, you have really good stocks. What it means, profit versus risk. If it's green, so that means it's good to go, uh, and that means when you have this, then uh, to this rating, you're going to have really good profit and reasonable risk. Some weighted. Okay, SMR, sales margin return uh, rating, okay? So the same thing, if you have a green, then it's good, right? So seasonality score, what is a seasonality score? Seasonality score is such that uh, indicator, which uh, fundamental, which says that in the month of July, August, it typically goes up, okay? Uh, and it's gonna go up in the August, okay? So that means it, it, it went up, down, and, and there's a good chance it's gonna go up, okay? Uh, let's look at this particular one. You see it's a buy, even though it goes down, but we're already saying it's buy. Uh, it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so now it is a fundamental analysis. Then a technical analysis. Uh, Again, if you don't know this, uh, you can easily read at our site. But how to read that table with the technical analysis? Uh, typical results in the back testing is, let's say, stochastic or RSI. Let's say RSI, right? So it gives you a signal today, and you do the back testing. Oh, okay, then it looks good. But I always was interested in the following type of a question. Okay, if the signal was six days ago, what are the chances the stock is gonna go up? I don't know. Uh, and then there was no simple software, but what we do, uh, we calculate signal plus six days. So what it means, how you read it. RSI signals was six days ago, and we tested that, we back tested, and the chances are gonna go up 64%, okay? These are the odds of success right here. This signal on stochastic was positive 59% odds of success, okay? Uh, as you can see, they could be contradictive. Uh, moving average shows down, but it was 18 days ago. Okay, then doesn't mean anything. 14 days ago was a Bollinger Band signal. Still good, momentum, no, okay? So that's the way you read fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and then what we do, we just collect the score. I have four greens and two reds, okay? And then in the scorecard, we present both. And out of this data and all AI predictions, okay, uh, you can make a conclusion that's a buy. Uh, this is a com community predictions. If you do these predictions, you also can uh, participate in uh, some competitions uh, among the, yourself, right? Uh, if you uh, click it here in the community, uh, let me do it here, not to, oh, it's here, okay. Let me do it here. So if we go to community, community trend predictions, and then as you can see, 
we collect uh, data when you do predictions and then we select winners and losers. And actually at some moment, we're gonna start giving prices for your participation, okay? So let me go back. Uh, so this is the uh, eye predictions. This is the scores and this is a uh, uh, like integrated conclusion based on uh, what we have, okay, for the company. So as I said, I already moved that uh, uh, to the watch list, created the watch list, okay? Now, I wanted to show you another way of finding the trends uh, from the opposite thinking. So I'm gonna find depressed stocks. I'm gonna look at those which are negative, okay? So for year, they were negative. You see, they're negative. I have, um, now nah, let me reset first, okay? So I have 636, okay? So now I wanna say uh, negative for a year. You see this column is negative. I'm gonna find the negative for six months. So that means they've been depressed for quite a long time, for a year and, and six months. And then, uh, so how many do I have still? 272, okay. So then I'm gonna get depressed. So I'm, I'm looking those which were on the bottom and now they're exhibiting some trend uh, on the last day of the week. You see these three columns, you see red, okay? Now, uh, let's look at their trend, let's say for a week. Do we have something interesting? Uh, there's no, uh, no, 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 um, uh, yeah, you see this is a kind of being down, 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 and that's where you can see kind of a, a weak reversal, right? And we're not finding and trying to find the one day reversal, but we're looking here, confirmation and here, it's still sell, man, it, 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 it's not good. Let, let's try to find it here, buy, okay? So what we see here, this is a depressed stocks, okay? Uh, what are they? Petroleum gas, liquid, liquefied gas, fish, oh, you see it's been down, uh, forever, uh, dairy products down, okay. Uh, marine shipping. Um, so I, I kind of selected too many depressed and I don't have uh, opportunity to move. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unclick it and I'm gonna take any. And then I have now 272 groups and it's sorted by strong buy, okay. So what it means, it means what I found is as follows. I have uh, uh, been, uh, I, I found the stocks which been down uh, for a year, for six months, and only for about the quarter, quarter, uh, they started moving up, okay? You see furniture, oh, you see? When the people go to the coronavirus, you see, this is interesting, it's been depressed, it's still, it is thrown by, right? And uh, we we'll already uh, look at them. Okay, what, what else is interesting here? Uh, advanced surgery. Okay, interesting theme. It's been depressed, but now it's kind of moving up. Um, small deep, okay? Uh, 18 stocks, and it is thrown by. Okay, is that, it's a good opportunity, okay? Uh, let's see, agricultural. You see, it's been depressed, but then since then it's kind of moving up. Uh, and that means it's kind of been down and then up, up, up. And then we're really looking at what? We're looking at the kind of down, 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 and we're right here, we're gonna catch this uh, moment, okay? Uh, so, uh, so where am I? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, so 640, uh, guys, I strongly encourage you to type the questions because Zoom is gonna close our um, webcast uh, sharp at 7 p.m. Uh, West uh, Pacific time. And then uh, I'm not gonna be able to even restart that, okay? Um, so let's see, what else is interesting here out of uh, depressing so consumer products, okay, uh, there was, uh, you see, quite a good growth uh, for these uh, 10 stocks, and it is a buy, and then you kind of analyze them right here, okay. So 
This recommendation is a really good uh, sorting uh, mechanism. And then uh, you can see that. And then uh, you, again, uh, going to be able to extract uh, those uh, which are uh, going up or down uh, during this uh, period of times. OK? So uh, yeah. Please. OK, there are a couple of questions. Yeah, guys, thank you. Uh, so let me see. Um, what suggestions of scatters for day trading? Yeah. Um, yes, it's a good question. Um, so what kind of a scanners uh, do we have? So we do have uh, these uh, scanners. Uh, here are our scanners, OK? So as you can see, uh, depending on the market conditions, there are trading strategies, uh, one day gap up when the price of uh, opening is greater than the price of closing. So one day gainers, uh, one week gainers. So you kind of look at the trends, okay? But when you get uh, this, uh, when the market would have been open, uh, let's say, I really want to see those which are been trading uh, top gainers for a week, okay? So I click here. If market would have been open, then we would have seen what's going on. Uh, and our scanners kind of really interesting scanners. Uh, you can refresh it any time to get uh, those who are really performing well uh, during week or any other period of time. Then this column is interesting column. If you keep that uh, tab open, that's going to continue to show you if this group goes up or goes down. Okay, so it's going to accumulate PNL. So from the moment you click, okay, you can also look at the news for each stock. Kodak, okay, yeah, everyone know. You see, the Kodak was picked up as the weekly gainer with almost uh, one thousand five hundred percentage gain. Okay, that was a quite a jump. I think from almost three dollars, four dollars to thirty-one dollars. Okay, but I would not trade that right now. Um, then uh, uh, that that's a good for day trading. Why? Because you want to see the trend. Okay. So from a day trading perspective, what I I normally do, I do the following. Let's assume I use this screener tomorrow morning. Okay. I find. Uh, Gainers within like uh, uh, first hour or on or in principle, you see it's a, it's a good trend. Okay, so then you're trying to understand, okay, what's going on with their uh, these particular groups. Okay, so let's assume um, I I don't know uh, nothing. Yeah, overstock. Okay, you see it's a kind of good gain, 23 uh, percent for a week. It's a, it's a good gain. Okay. Now, what are you gonna do? Uh, let me show you again my uh, way of thinking, overstock, okay, why? Because people sitting doing nothing and then uh, buying online uh, for the home. Uh, you click here and then move to this uh, page where we give pretty much everything what we think about uh, this stock. Okay, first of all, earnings call today. There was an earnings call Never trade over this unless you really know insights. And that's the reason maybe it gained 20%. Oh, it's already gained 20%. Maybe it was already there, OK? Uh, it, it is not a good example. I'm just going to use this just for the purposes of seeing what's going on with the uh, stocks, OK? So as you can see on this blue field for one stock, you see these groups, OK? And there's a correlation between this stock and uh, uh, overstock to overstock. It's 100% correlation, right? So now, buying online group, 85% correlation. As you can see, overstock jumped 25%. And that group today jumped uh, here, OK? And then internet retail, uh, internet, highly correlated stocks. So that means this is a collection of stocks which are highly correlated to overstock, OK, 81%. So now, what are you going to do? You have to check, uh, since we're kind of analyzing your stock, you have to check 
what's going on with this particular group? What do you do? You click here, okay? And then go to either screener, you can go to screener and analyze, or you can go to this page scorecard. So that way it's gonna give you analysis of all stocks in this group. It's whole, you see? Even though there was a buying opportunities, but looks like this particular group, first of all, overall conclusion on this group is hold, okay? Plus, this is a somewhat a negative view on this group. You have a, a kind of a downtrend in the buying. Uh, and then you see some of these stocks uh, already in the sell, okay? So my conclusion is I would not trade over stock uh, even though it is here, okay? You see, I did that analysis and I, I came to the conclusion, I'm not gonna trade that one, okay? Uh, let's, let's look uh, another one, um, consumer durables. Okay, let's look that one, Hamilton Beach Brands. Okay, let's try that one. So 47 minutes, guys, so you have, uh, uh, if you have more questions, okay, now. Let's look at this one. Um, uh, capitalization 200 million, uh, it's pretty thin stock, kind of as you can see, there's not enough of a liquidity. Uh, I would be careful with this one. Okay, um, so cool. let's look at this technology services. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, yeah, uh, that, uh, now you see, it's a highly correlated stocks, 88% 80, media, okay, 72, okay. Asia, 263, China, okay, it's a uh, Chinese stocks, but as you can see, it doesn't move uh, along the Chinese group, uh, then doesn't make sense to check it, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to look at the media and, and verify if that group is good, right? So then I'm gonna go to read about this uh, group and see what are the recommendations for the group, okay? Sell, hmm. okay? So what it means out of this scanner, which I just found and showed to you, uh, looks like there were uh, quite a good pop-ups and uh, it appears that these uh, companies really run well, uh, but uh, uh, we should be uh, careful uh, with these uh, stocks because within a week they run too fast. So that means I would not use that scanner. That's a conclusion, right? So the question is what to use. So you go back to ideas, okay? And, and, and then select another scanner, which is gonna give you information, okay, uh, within, uh, so that means it, 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 you guys should remember and understand that if something works today, it might not work tomorrow, okay? That's, that's important statement. So let, let's look at this one day top gainers. Okay, let's see who jumped today the most. And that, uh, uh, you can refresh it pretty much any minute. And that way you're gonna be able to see uh, what's going on uh, within a day, okay? So you see today, some of the companies run 100%, 25% runs, okay? And this, uh, the idea, our mental model continue the trends, right? Um, you can do the opposite. You can say, okay, I wanna find those dips, right? So let's say the one day, one week top losers out of scanner, right? So, but let me continue that thinking. Um, okay, so these are the one day runners and they're pretty high. And then uh, you can uh, view that uh, energy minerals, right? Uh, so let's, let's look at this Apache Corp. So you again go here and analyze that particular stock in details, okay? And then also check what's going on with the groups. So if you do that routinely, then you're gonna be able to find uh, good opportunities. Uh, 
let me see, shale stocks, okay, 92% correlation, it one went up, uh, the group went down, okay, let's see shale oil, whether or not I would trade that. So I would do it here, I'm gonna go, go again to the scorecards and read about the shale oil, okay? Okay, guys, we're out of luck, so it looks like there was a sum, yeah, but then I can use it differently. For instance, with that Apache, what I would do, I would say that even though it says buy and, this, and, and then might continue, it's a good opportunity to actually uh, sell short if the entire group goes down, that, that means there was something fighting, but it's, it is still dangerous, okay? So out of these minutes, I was not able to find for you a really good stock uh, because it just takes a little bit of time. And I never really start from the scanners, but since the question was how to use scanners, I showed you. But if you're day trading, if you start from scanners, and if you do not recheck the group, you might get screwed up. That's actually a good lesson I showed you. So let me look at the questions. Okay, three more questions. Yeah. Okay, good. Some person kind of gives uh, some feedback, made a couple of buys using from using our website. It worked. Uh, but today market was down. Uh, yeah, guys, again, if you would take out of uh, uh, my webcast today, this idea, remember that word, right? Always keep it in mind. Always recheck your theory whether or not you want to buy check the group okay check the group and see what's going on with the group stay with the herd and then let's say you do day trading if the market overall goes down in order to really buy you have to make sure that the entire group goes up for instance on the coronavirus everyone every stock goes down only online media online trading online um Whatever was online went up. Zoom went up, right? So, but you have to make uh, it fine and really confirm that the entire group goes up against the market. If you do not confirm that, you always are gonna lose. And that's the problem of uh, people who do it individually. They do not have tools to check the group, okay? Since I've been doing trading myself quite a lot, uh, it was my personal discovery that if I don't check the group, I normally lose. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, but uh, typically you lose if you don't go with the group, okay? Check the group. Okay? I, I really insist that you guys have to be checking, okay? Uh, Okay, uh, I have signed up for iRobots. I don't get alerts. Yeah, you have to set up those alerts and uh, uh, maybe, uh, actually, guys, about AI robots, okay? You have to be here patient with us, okay? We released these AI robots yesterday, okay? We're fixing all the problems, and then uh, it is uh, here. Let, let me jump, I have a few, few minutes, five minutes, okay? So let me show you AI robots. What are the robots? As I said, we've been testing, but not releasing them, okay? So these are their annualized return, 230%, 168% annualized return. And they've been trading in crypto stocks and the forexes, okay? Uh, we're gonna continue to release these robots. Um, then um, uh, let, let me see, uh, let's say this one, okay? Uh, 58 days, we've been testing that. Uh, you click here, view details. So the way it is organized is as follows, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, this is a chart of the uh, gains, okay? So, the trades made 10,000 without any leverage, just 10,000 per trade. And then, as you can see, the average duration for this robot, 10 hours. It's good for day trading. As you can see, average profit is always better than average loss, okay? So, then, what you see here is exact timing when the robot got in, and then exact timing when it's getting out, let's say close trades, okay? So as you can see, um, today market went down and it perhaps stops this uh, 
Robert uh, get out, right? But the way to analyze, you can do like that. You can go to the close trades, click here, and see uh, whether or not some of the tickers were somewhat losers, okay? So as you can see, that one was overall loser, but then you can find this particular robot if you see it here. So that's a summary. This one was a gainer pretty much all of the time, okay? So that's the way you analyze uh, your robot. And uh, uh, then you, uh, what you do, you click a button follow, okay? Then you're supposed to receive alerts if you set them up in where? In the customize, okay? So for instance, you click here customize. As you can see, these are 307 stocks in this uh, robot, okay? So we've been trading this uh, algorithm with this group, okay? So let's assume you want to remove those which were losers, okay? Let, let me do that, real, right? So what I would do in order to skip it, I would do like that, customize, I will go PR, real, and uh, unclick it, okay? So then I would do it, apply, and now what is interesting that you remove real from your statistic, okay? And that way you do not get alert on real anytime soon, okay? Because it is out of your list, okay? You can remove all stocks which have not been performing, but we put it here anyway, just to give you a good chance of, uh, uh, a good chance of a selection, okay? You can customize here. You can add or remove uh, any of this stock to do what? To really uh, see uh, maximum open, 31. So that means maximum open was 31, which is pretty high. And then what you can do, you can unclick quite a lot of them to get smaller number. Here you're gonna get fewer uh, trades, okay? So that way you're gonna have uh, fewer signals and it might be easier on your budget, okay? Um, so two minutes, in one minute, uh, Zoom is gonna finish that. It's a very brief preview. I'm gonna do the full webcast in a week. You're gonna, guys, uh, can get familiar with our air robots, read about them, uh, check them. We're going to be releasing more robots maybe once in a couple of weeks. We're gonna get more and more tested robots with different strategies, like parrot trading, gap trading, some other strategies. Uh, whatever we've been testing, we're gonna be showing that to you, okay? So one minute left and... Um, Okay, thank you guys and uh, good luck.